now in this video we'll we'll make this code more efficient so what we have done in the last video is we have used this method which is filter in which i'm passing the object of predicate now this predicate is an interface a functional interface which takes only one which has only one method which is test which takes only one parameter and returns a boolean value so in this function you can define any logic you want like you can you can filter the elements depend upon prime number you can also let's say you have a collection of students or your yeah, collection of students in which you want to filter out all those students who got uh, maybe above 60% so you can do that also so we can achieve lots of things using predicate now if you if you focus on this p don't you think we are using this p only once so what we can do is we can we can cut this part here and we can write the same logic in this filter method and we know don't need to use this filter or predicate p now 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 if you focus on this 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 code here from this point to this point now this predicate is a it's a lab, it's a functional interface and if we are creating the anonymous in the class you can see netbeans itself give you a suggestion it says this an anonymous inner class creation can be turned into a lambda expression uh, mind you this suggestion will be only available in netbeans 8 if you are using any version which is below uh, before netbeans 8 it will give you it will not give you that suggestion in fact it will not support all these different apis so uh, we can convert this code into a lambda expression so you can see from here to here we have a uh, we have a boilerplate code so what we can do is we can rewrite the code so let me just cut this part we can rewrite the code in this way so this takes an integer value and what we are doing is we are checking that value is mod equal to equal to zero right that's it we can see the same code here and here and if i run this code uh, it's working the answer is 185 clear so this is how we should be using streams we should be using filter we should be using a reduce let's say uh, before add, before adding i want to uh, multiply each number by 2 again you can use something called as map uh, this map will take a value and will will convert that value into a double of it so we'll say into 2 simple the answer will be uh, after doubling each value the answer should be it should be 370 yeah answer is 370 right so this is how we can use a uh, filter method with the help of predicate interface now if you focus on these two methods don't you think this this sounds like map reduce of google yeah so this is how google works right they first map all the elements and then they try to reduce the elements so that the searching will be easy okay so this is how we can we should be using a predicate interface then you will say uh, okay i don't want to but i don't want to reduce i want to find the first element okay so the first element which is divisible by 5 uh, which is 20 right i want to print the double value or the value of the 20 into 2 so what we can do is we can just multiply it by 2 and we don't need to reduce here what we want to find is we want to find first so there is a inbuilt method which is called as find first here so if i run this code now you can see the output is optional 40 but hold on what is optional here now java is very efficient it says there is a possibility that in your list you will not find any value which is divisible by 5 there is a chance right in that scenario i don't want to give you zero i don't want to give you any error and that's why i'm giving i'm giving you the output as uh, as optional let me show you let me say the values are 6 88 and 99 now these values are not divisible by 5 or divisible by 5 right so if i run this you can see the answer is optional empty which simply means you don't have any element which is divisible by 5 so it will reduce the bugs in your code okay that's why i i just love this java new uh, api which is stream api which provides you many feature and it will help you to reduce the number of bugs you have so this find first function will give you the first value with the help of optional but let's say i don't want to print optional or i don't want to print optional empty if you don't have any element I want to print a value zero in case if you don't have a value. So in that case, we'll simply say or else we'll use or else it should print zero. 
So this will find find first. If you don't find any value, it will print or else. So if I run this code now, you can see the out op answer is 40. And if I don't have any element which is divisible by 5, which I say, again, they will go for the same value, 6, 88, and 99. If I run this code now, you can see the answer is 0. So this is how we, how we need to use a find first function and or else function, which if your find first failed to pick up any value, it will put in the value which is 0. In fact, you can write any integer value here. Simple. So let me just change the value. Let me go back to the previous values. Okay. Okay. Let me run this again for the surety, and you can see the answer is 40. Then question arises: uh, Is it this? Is it code more efficient? Yeah. We'll we'll talk about that in the uh, in the next tutorial.